Welcome to Skene TV on YouTube once again. We have 28 days for the World Cup to begin in Qatar and Ghana will play our first match against Portugal. The latest news coming in indicates that Blaster's best defender, Alexander Jiko, has picked up an unfortunate injury ahead of this World Cup. Is he going to be available for the World Cup? Well, time will tell. Let's talk about it here on this channel. Then we will also use some few minutes and talk about Thomas Tepati's performance today against Southampton as he went one-on-one -on -one with Black Stars defender or now say new defender Mohamed Salisu in the EPL. So let's talk about this and more as we look forward that our perform uh, players will start performing very well getting into the World Cup itself. Before then, can you drop a like? Please drop a like after that. You subscribe if you are new here. Then you let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I will also be giving shout out in my subsequent video. This is just a breaking news that Alexander Jiku has unfortunately picked up an injury. He plays for Strasbourg in the French League One and today he went in with another game. This season he has been playing consistently for his club side and he did not last in the game today. Alexander Jiku, I think he is our best defender currently. Yes, yeah, since he joined the Black Stars of Ghana, he has been the pillar at the back for us. In fact, if you even recall the games against Nigeria, he was super. Having that kind of, um, you know, pair with Amate, he was a super player who actually kept Victor Simen and other players um, cool in those games. Today, he played 26 minutes in the game where he picked up a knock. And um, before the his performance was super this season, he's got a very, very high rating. But hey, the player has unfortunately picked up an injury. But we do not know the extent of the injury currently. We have to just wait. After the game today, as of the time making this video, there will be a scan on the player. So after the scan, they will get to know the extent of the injury that um, Alexander Jiko may be going in. I think this is an unfortunate news for us. We only need to have you know him in our prayers and hope that he will recover quickly and join the black stars of ghana to me i'm very hopeful that he will recover before the world cup you know what has happened before always going to the world cup we have been losing some kind of players or some kind of defenders going into it and i do not want it this time around to happen to this particular team because we have a solid back three in the shape of alexander jiku himself mohammed salisu and whether being daniel amati stefan ambrosius patrick piper or whoever but hey, we only pray that um, our best defender, to me, he also won last year um, Ghana Football Awards Player of the Year. But let's hope that he will return very soon. So that is on Alexander Jiku. Today, he has picked up an unfortunate knock. We hope he will recover very, very soon. Now, let's talk about um, the next players I mentioned here. One is Mohamed Salisu. Salisu today went one-on-one. -on -one with Arsenal, his performance was very good. He was rated 6.6 .6 against Arsenal. It was one all game where Salisu was very solid at the back. Salisu um, had about 64 touches in the game, made four clearances and also two tackles in the game as well. Out of the 39 passes, the accuracy was 78%. He won or he completed four long balls out of seven that he attempted. Ground was won were two out of five. Aerial doors won was one out of three. Possession lost were 16. Then he was fouled um, twice in the game. So he also did well for Southampton today. Now in the same game, we had Thomas Teipate who plays for Arsenal. Today he, he actually manage the midfield for us as he has been doing this particular season he played 90 minutes salisu also played 90 minutes but he played 90 minutes and had 88 touches he um had 66 passes the accuracy was 88 percent key passes was one for him long balls completed were four out of four yes fantastic then era was was um none then he went in with ground was of five of which he won two possession loss were 14 he, he fouled once he was fouled once and made one clearance. Interception was one. Tackles was one in the game as well for Thomas Tay Party. The game ended one all as Arsenal took the lead before um, Granny Jacka scored for Arsenal before. Um, the player called Stuart Armstrong also equalized for the home side. So, guys, these are some of the updates here for you on this channel. I'm very worried, but we hope that Alexander Jiku will return very soon to play 
for the black stars on there. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe if you are new, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. And subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.